Good evening, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, evening headlines on June 1, 2023. Pesticide firms withheld brain toxicity studies from EU regulators, study finds. I've come to love Chisinau, my home city in Moldova deserves the spotlight. The Guardian, Moldova sees EU entry by 2030 along with Russian-occupied region. Bloomberg, Russia is fighting a hidden war in Moldova. Non-EU workers outnumber EU ones in various UK sectors in post-Brexit shift. LGBTQ flag burned at school before Pride event in California. Sky News, LGBTQ flag burned at California Elementary School amid parent boycott. Ukraine war, Patriot missile defense system a game changer for Kyiv. Sky News, Russian forces destroy American Patriot missile systems in Ukraine, Moscow vows more action. Hindustan Times, Ukraine defends itself from deadly Russian missile attacks. CBS Evening News, Shoigu says Russian troops hit another Patriot missile system in Kyiv, in recent days. Three teenagers arrested after stealing prized swan before killing and eating it. Sky News, teens arrested after authorities say beloved swan was killed and eaten. The Independent, teens killed a swan and a family later ate it, believing it was a large duck. NBC News, Manlius, New York, swan stolen from pond, Fay killed, officials say. Truck driver held after spilled potatoes caused chaos on Danish bridge. Brazilian Amazon at risk of being taken over by mafia, ex-police chief warns. Bruno Pereira and Dom Flips were killed in the Amazon. Their indigenous allies risk death to carry on the work. Body cam shows Nikki Alvarez begging police to arrest boyfriend before she vanished. The Independent, missing mum who disappeared into thin air three weeks ago spotted in supermarket. The Mirror, friend of Tennessee mom who vanished with her boyfriend relieved they're alive. Daily Mail, missing mother Nikki Alcaraz who vanished on road trip is found alive. The Independent, put your hands behind your back, body cam shows how deputy responded to New Mexico domestic violence incident before Nikki Alcaraz vanished for weeks. Donald Trump recorded saying he kept classified file after leaving office. BBC, tape shows Trump saying he kept classified document on Iran, CNN. Al Jazeera English, Trump caught on tape discussing classified docs he kept after leaving White House. The Independent, Donald Trump heard on tape talking about classified documents he kept after leaving the White House. Contractors die warning days before Davenport disaster revealed, live. The Independent, woman found alive in partially collapsed Iowa building 24 hours later. NBC News, officials say computer glitch changed inspection record for collapsed Iowa building. The Independent, woman rescued from partially collapsed Iowa building as city planned to demolish it hashtag shorts. Woman jailed for helping orchestrate attacks on neo-Nazis. Sky News, German leftists jailed for string of violent attacks on alleged neo-Nazis. The Guardian, scuffles in German cities after student who attacked neo-Nazis is convicted. The Independent, Germany convicts left-wing activists for attack on neo-Nazis. Al Jazeera English, German court convicts left-wing extremists for attacking neo-Nazis. Erdogan's victory shows the world can't give up political strongman, Kim Sengupta. The Independent, Middle East Roundup, five more years for Erdogan. Al Jazeera English, Turkey's bizarre economic experiment enters a new phase. The Economist, Turkey elections, Erdogan has a chance to solve the lira crisis, but will he take it? Middle East I, Turkey elections, why did Kilik Daralu lose? Man accused of starting New Zealand hostel fire faces five murder charges. The Guardian, Loafers Lodge Fire, man charged with NZ hostel fire murders. BBC, New Zealand police file five murder charges against man accused of starting deadly hostel fire. The Independent, New Zealand police charge man with five murders after hostel fire. Times of India, murder charges laid over fatal Wellington Loafers Lodge hostel fire. Kosovo, NATO ready to send more troops after unrest. BBC, EU leaders to discuss North Kosovo as crisis persists. Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, Serbia's Vucic calls for withdrawal of mayors in North Kosovo. 
Al Jazeera English, NATO to deploy 700 more troops after violent clashes in Kosovo. Bloomberg, Italian troops to remain in Kosovo to guarantee stability. Senate races to pass debt ceiling deal after House GOP vote rebellion fails, live. The independent, debt ceiling deal, US House overwhelmingly passes bill. BBC, a weak debt ceiling deal is better than none. Bloomberg, opinion, a Republican reality check on McCarthy's debt ceiling deal. Burkina Faso is the world's most neglected crisis as focus remains on Ukraine. Uganda's president defends passing new anti-LGBTQ plus law with powers to kill so-called serial offenders. Sky News, Uganda's vicious anti-LGBT law reflects foreign influences, but not the ones the country's homophobes decry. The Economist, Uganda's anti-homosexuality law is a patriarchal backlash against progress. The Conversation, anti-LGBTQ plus law in Uganda that threatens the death penalty sparks international outcry. Prince and Princess of Wales surprise guests at Jordan Royal Wedding. Sky News, live, Jordan's Crown Prince ties the knot at Royal Wedding in Amman. The Independent, Prince and Princess of Wales in Jordan to attend Royal Wedding. The Telegraph, live, Crown Prince of Jordan's Royal Wedding in Amman. Reuters, Prince and Princess of Wales arrive in Jordan ahead of Royal Wedding. Russia-Ukraine war at a glance, what we know on day 463 of the invasion. The Guardian, Ukraine war, three killed in overnight missile attack on Kyiv. BBC, civilians injured in uninterrupted shelling of Belgorod. The Times, Ukraine war, dashcam captures moment missile debris falls onto Kyiv road. BBC, Ukraine, Russian missile attack kills three in Kyiv on International Children's Day, video. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.